uh, <clears throat> voice control. Hi, everybody. Do you hear me right now? Okay. Is there anybody hearing me? Uh, is there any problem, the voice problem? Hello, hello. Hi, do you hear me? Yeah, everyone okay. can hear you, so you can start, uh, you can read the, in the chat, there's no problem, yeah, everyone can hear you, so you can go on with your lessons. Okay, okay, okay. The, the camera. Right, right. Okay, I missed the chat actually, okay, I'm going. <clears throat> okay. Yes, yeah, sorry, um, the, the, I missed the ch chat conver conversations, so I am just starting my camera. So I think my voice and the camera is on and everybody is okay for this. Uh, this is the, you know, the uh, last webinar of this course, uh, how to make things work, achieving results, webinar three. Uh, in this webinar, mm -hmm. I will uh, just summarize uh, generally and briefly uh, the course material actually by headlines not in details because you uh, read and learned the course material writtenly and also the second part of this webinar um, will be about uh, two big scale uh, project exams from Turkey uh, realized by the big size companies, Turkish companies. So you will be enlightened uh, about the realized projects and some uh, depictions about the realized projects. Uh, these were selected uh, from the corporate social responsibility exams. Okay. Now, just summarizing the headlines of course your your course material. You will remember the first week you learned uh, project cases. Uh, this is uh, one of the most important uh, issues, uh, concerns or subjects of the course material because um, the project cases shows you the step-by-step -step management of the project. Uh, a moment. There is a warning from uh, Kamil right now. Uh, stopping the video. Um, may I ask you, everybody has problem with the video and the uh, voice? No. no? Okay. I'm just continuing then. Uh, project Faces has five steps, you know. Um, the first one, uh, everything starts with initiation. And also, uh, you know, uh, we have to prepare a plan, a project plan. This is planning step. Then we have to execute the plan. This means implementation. So, of course, control is everywhere. And uh, during, the, uh, during the implementation, uh, at the, after the implementation, uh, the control step, uh, of course, uh, we have a time uh, frame, so every project must has, have an end. Uh, this is the, fir uh, the last step, project closure. Five step uh, management or five steps flow of management, we can say. 
or you will remember uh, these uh, five phases as ready, aim, fire strategy of project management. And the, the second uh, component of uh, this uh, first week course material uh, in phases about project objectives. Uh, you know, um, every project have to have uh, project objectives. Um, also product or the results. So uh, in each project, we need uh, have detailed depictions of results and objectives and also producing a product. Another uh, term uh, related with project management uh, is project vector or project vectors. Project vectors as well uh, has five components. Uh, saying like that, um, uh, sorry, uh, six six factors um, just miswritten here. Uh, defining requirement and objective of the project, defining and describing scope. Uh, this means what is about, and also the economic justification uh, must be in a time frame. And we should um, set acceptance criteria. And of course, all the projects has limitations, uh, you know, um, open-ended. Some limitations must be defined as well. Uh, project dimensions is different from uh, the other terms. So, um, how can we uh, define this? For example, vectors uh, describe objectives in the project, but dimensions describe facts in the project. These were the um, basic concept of project management you have to know. And before uh, starting the project, you should consider project stakeholders and also the users. Of course, scope of work, which is about, and dealing with changes in the project because you cannot um, control everything in the project beforehand, so you have to deal with the changes during the uh, project um, planning and implementation uh, period. Uh, there are a lot of expectations in the project or from the project, so you have to manage the expectations. And the, the hidden or the uh, maybe the most important part of the uh, project management is team energy. So you have to fire up the project team energy. Uh, the, the, these are the before start of the project. You should consider about this. And you know all the projects has its environment, um, eight components we can define uh, for project environment. Uh, first of all, uh, senior management and client or institutions, of course, legislation and regulations, and the nature, competition, the external partners or the internal partners. So uh, these components uh, surround the project, and we call it project environment. Then we move to the, uh, when we came to the second week's course material, um, we dealt with the project team organization first. Uh, you know, the two uh, basically type of uh, team organization or the organizational um, uh, pattern the hierarchical or the matrix, or combination of both uh, sometimes when necessary, but the basically uh, two um, components or the two type of team organization we say. 
then uh, you are building a successful team also you will consider um, describing the purpose of the project and expectations also cooperation and courage control communicating creativity consequences and and also changing the thought patterns in your team all these are this uh, considerations about successful team building you should remember all of them so uh, when you uh, act as a project manager you will manage activities and also the project environment which we shown before just two slides before you know the environment eight components so the managers deal with the uh, activities and project environment. Uh, project uh, managing uh, activities are planning, you know, organization, management, control, and coordination of activities. These are the material part or hard part of tasks uh, of a project manager. When you are planning the project, um, after the initiation, so you have to plan the project. Uh, we need a project plan, you remember. So planning the project include um, project definition, organizational scheme, resource use, project schedule, overview of estimated costs, the financial issue, risk avoidance plan, and description of procedures, instructions, the stop standards and tools to be used in the project. This is the components of the uh, planning the project step. Then uh, the third week course material included project execution and control. Um, what are you dealing about in this uh, step? You are dealing with monitoring, organizing, managing, controlling, or unsuring um, about what, for example, document results, meeting managing, uh, checking the implementation of the activities, project costs, uh, change, change requests, and reacting, all of them execution and control activities of the project. Then, after planning and implementation, um, there is a time frame for the project. Uh, that means uh, project closure is needed. Um, we, are, we can, um, we can um, do three different types of uh, project closure activity in the step. The final project report one of them, uh, which means um, the project definition, organizational scheme, use of resources, um, project schedule, overview of cost, implementation of the risk avoidance plan, description of procedures, and everything included in the final project uh, report. The second component of um, do this summary of all that we learned during the project actually we can call it um, our uh, feedback about the project um, the good and the bad things happened in the project during the activities or uh, some uh, suggestion about the project for the next projects will be considered uh, and uh, some warnings as well. Also, the third one is uh, feedback from the users. Uh, this means um, the feedback from the users to uh, evaluate the project results, the effects, and success as well. And these three uh, components necessary for project closure and documentation of the project 
uh, project five. So the next one, the last one as well uh, about course material, you have to uh, archive the, the documents and the outputs of the projects. Uh, in this activity, you have to archive um, all the documents, the project plan, corresponding documents, financial reports, all the correspondence with the uh, stakeholders or the within the team, uh, the minutes, status reports, contracts, technical documents, other specific and significant documents such as media coverages or the media produced uh, by the team. All the outputs and the documentation are needed to be archived. And this was the first part of uh, this third webinar. So I'm going to move to the second part of the um, webinar about the projects from Turkey. If you have any questions about the summary of the course materials, so you can write on the chat. And I'm going to try to answer your questions or I will uh, continue to present the projects. Oh. Okay, I'm continuing then. Um, these two projects uh, are still ongoing. The long-term projects, both of two, uh, because um, um, these were the corporate social responsibility big size projects and uh, highly uh, costly projects, but we are we don't have any we don't have um, the whole budget uh, information uh, because it is still ongoing project. Uh, it is not finished yet, none of them. The, one, the first one is one master, thousand masters. We call um, it one master, thousand masters. This project is about actually um, the training, uh, training activities on specific issues. I'm going to uh, show you uh, some information from the perspective of project paces. Uh, again, uh, you remember initiation plan, implementation, control and project closure are the five uh, steps of uh, a project. So when we look at from the pers this perspective uh, and when we review the uh, projects from this perspective, it will be very clear for you uh, relating with uh, the projects and the course material uh, strongly. The, the, in the initiation step, we can see the reason and objective of the project. Um, why uh, this project um, is open? Because um, this was the 85th anniversary of a big size insurance company of Turkey and uh, their stakeholders wished a social a big size social responsibility program uh, from this uh, company. So um, after some research among uh, their public target audiences, uh, stakeholders, the company decided to uh, establish a big size corporate social responsibility program on vanishing crafts and local values. So um, the, uh, the vanishing crafts and local values were 
the important issues among the target audiences and the Anadolu Insurance Company decided uh, a trainee program, long-term trainee program on this issue. Letting professional craftsmen and artisans pass on their experience to the future. This, uh, this is the objective of the project. Uh, one master, thousand master, what does it mean? Um, because several, uh, a lot of uh, vanishing crafts, but some few craftsmen left. Uh, practicing these um, crafts and this will be vanished soon if uh, nobody cares about these vanishing uh, crafts. One master will teach a lot of um, trainee um, how to make and how to deal with these crafts. So, uh, thousand master are um, um, clear and defined objectives of objective of this project. Project holder is another insurance company, uh, which is uh, associated company to Ishpankas. Uh, a leading and first established bank soon after foundation of Turkish Republic, the two big size company uh, together. So the financial issue is not so uh, big concern in this project. Under the project parties and callings, callings means here crafts, selected crafts, five selected crafts. Uh, among uh, those proposed by the Minister of Culture uh, every year. And 15 to 20 trainees receive uh, training for each vacation. The first step, uh, planning, uh, just 15 or 20 trainees uh, selected on uh, five callings from five different cities. Uh, Another insurance company projected to extend support to 50 vacations and a total of a thousand masters to be over the course of 10 years. So you will see in which year the uh, program has started later on. Uh, in implementation uh, step, the uh, partners um, joined the program the Minister of Culture and the NGOs of the selected cities. The, um, so the program um, held uh, by Anadolu Insurance Company with the help of Minister of Culture and the several NGOs from the regions. You, are, you see the uh, media coverage here on the right side, on the slide. Um, the press conference held on June 2010, 2010. It is a big size coverage, as you see. At the starting point uh, in the implementation step of the project, um, five different crafts, or five provisions and five crafts are selected from Bursa, the city names. These are the city names from Bursa, Eskishehir, Edirne, Gaziantep, and Trabzon. Uh, you cannot, I, I think you may not um, be familiar with the uh, craft's name, but we translated it into the uh, English, the, uh, the original names, probably it will help a little bit. Uh, starting with these five uh, provinces, uh, basic training about the relevant craft uh, in courses organized by civil society, uh, because um, the NGOs were very active in the regions, so Ministry of Culture and the NGOs helped the, this program to be realized in the area. 
in second year uh, was the expanding of the program uh, during the implementation step. More crafts and cities are selected. Uh, you know, the, the blue ones are the uh, crafts names and the others uh, are the city names. Uh, in this pr uh, project, the, um, the cities and the crafts uh, are, were expanding year by year. Also, media outputs uh, appeared during uh, this expanding um, period. Also, uh, and a TV, um, a thema thematic TV, a national documentary channel, produced the documentary films of the crafts uh, about the project. A photographic album of the courses published and a commercial film released. Also, there is an uh, interesting um, additional activity here because uh, the bank, the Ishpankası, um, produced a, a program for uh, supporting, financially supporting the craftsmen uh, which were trained during this program, uh, the micro, line, micro loans. So uh, after finishing the courses, the trainees uh, uh, applied for micro loans to establish their uh, workplaces or expanding their work. Third and fourth year, the program continued to expanding. The other crafts uh, and the cities uh, were added to the program. Fifth year of the project expanding uh, continued. Uh, the other ones were added as well, more crafts and more cities in sixth year as well, more expanding. Now um, in 2016, uh, it reached uh, about all part of the Turkey and a lot of um, craft uh, teams and also a lot of trainings. Mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, informative trips uh, are being organized for media members since the beginning of the project. In every year, media members um, uh, had a trip to the uh, cities and uh, interviewed with the participants and the project managers. Here you can see the um, some visuals of the um, project crafts and a lot of different type of crafts of Turkey improved uh, during this program. Uh, at, on the right side down, you, are, you see the commercial film on the national televisions. Uh, at the beginning of the program, uh, we saw the uh, commercial films frequently. So um, a lot of uh, viewers, the audience, uh, learned about the project. Uh, during the launching the project. Uh, this, this is the 10 years uh, program. So uh, project closure is uh, not um, on the table right now. We'll close at the end of uh, 2020 and we'll reach one thousand masters uh, as um, shown in the project title one master taught a lot of 
masters, uh, crafting, and also the uh, the masters started to teach other uh, craftsmen how to uh, make these kind of crafts. These all of them were local values, and uh, the company learned from uh, stakeholders uh, that they wish to uh, invest in a social problem of Turkey, vanishing crafts of Turkey, uh, a social cor corporate responsibility program. So started uh, seven years ago, three years left right now. Uh, the program uh, now is basically focused on uh, traineeship uh, instead of media outputs or media coverages, uh, because the objective is uh, 1,000 masters. So this uh, <clears throat> vivid and um, well-defined numbers, the a thousand masters <clears throat> is the challenge for this program. They have to reach this objective. This was the first project from the Turkey, which is which uh, is realizing right now. And the second one is about <clears throat> a model village. This is the rural development issue and uh, an oil company uh, prepared this project. Also, uh, when we reviewed the uh, project from the perspective of project faces, we will see some clues also. Uh, the name of the company, OPET, uh, OPET um, wants to create a conscious society because some, it's a very big problem from, for rural area for Turkey, of Turkey. Uh, conscious society and also uh, self-sufficiency for villages. This was the aim of the uh, program. Using the historical and geographical, some cultural uh, potentials along with improved education level and environmental awareness in this project. So self-sufficiency and uh, self-sufficiency for villages are the objective of this project, but uh, using historical, geographical and cultural potentials of the uh, villages. And to reach this objective, the instruments are improved education level and also environmental awareness. So how to uh, create this improved education level and environmental awareness are the challenge of this project. The name of the project, Model Village. Uh, project holder, OPET, is a big size company, oil company of Turkey. Uh, first, uh, selected villages uh, for this project in Turkey uh, from different parts of Turkey. Some of them seaside, some of them um, quite underdeveloped um, area of Turkey, but they all have some specific uh, potentials to be improved, so it, they were involved in this project. You see uh, some uh, visuals, some pictures of this, the pro of this project. <clears throat> so, uh, because uh, of some historical or geographical specific potentials help this project to uh, establish that kind of rural development programs uh, inside this project. 
in implementation step uh, within this project, training courses, uh, computer labs, library building, kids' playroom, or afforestation uh, were useful for some villages. For example, in Dara, um, the implementation step involved these ones. Uh, due to the uh, rural area, or the village conditions, uh, each village had had its own um, attractions or its own uh, challenges. In other uh, village, for example, in Yesemek, um, Yesemek is a very historical place, so a sculpture workshop was great for the, this village, landscape renovation and open air museum, several training courses held during implementation uh, step of this project. In, in another uh, village, house paintings, cultural center building, elementary school building were needed a lot. Uh, so uh, for the rural development, uh, these um, activities finished inside this program. The other one, uh, for example, a touristic uh, destination, in a touristic destination, landscape renovation needed. Uh, also sales stands for the uh, local uh, sellers some uh, English certification or computer certification or some practical vocational skills uh, were needed uh, in that village. In, other, in another one, uh, again, landscape renovation sales stands and cultural central buildings were needed. Totally, just one of the model village in Jesu turned into ecological model village. Everything were uh, ecologically designed and uh, from up to bottom, uh, the village turned into an ecological village. So um, this also still ongoing project. So uh, you See, you saw uh, two different projects from Turkey, also a summary of the course material. And you can visit the websites of the uh, these projects and you can see some details, more details, uh, because of the time limitation. I didn't put everything here on slides, so maybe we can um, talk about other issues uh, in the webinar. That's why I didn't want to uh, make it so long. So you can see all the details of the project or more visual or more pictures from the projects in the websites. And I have some uh, notifications to you about the assignments uh, at the end of this webinar. Before uh, this not notification, I just want you to give a chance to ask questions about the last webinar. Please don't hesitate to ask something about this webinar. Otherwise, uh, I will be always talking and you will be always listening. Please use the chat box. The, the first one, Danica. Oh, Danica, thank you very much. Is <laughs> everything is clear? Okay, thank you very much. Um, so, um, nobody else? No. 
Well, okay then. This is a <laughs> quite clear webinar for you, I think. <laughs> okay. I think it is German, but so this is clear. Now my notification then. You know, uh, you have uh, assignment four and assignment six. Uh, assignment four individual work, you know, I must remember this because we checked in the LMS and we saw a lot of uh, students did not post uh, this assignment. This is individual, not teamwork. Do you know this? I love them. Yes. Danica, did you that, do that? Okay. Yes, you did. And uh, the deadline uh, is out right now, you know, but uh, today you can uh, post uh, because we didn't uh, start to evaluate in the assignments right now. I request all the students to finish this assignment, individual work. Just seven criteria, it is quite easy actually. Well, also this is another notif notification, uh, assignment six. Uh, it's a teamwork. You have to produce a project web page, you know, and the deadline is coming, you know. Please do the assignment perfectly, okay? Well, there is no question, everything is clear. Uh, also, um, the notifications are done. Okay, uh, the assignment 6th deadline, 26th of November. 26th of November, deadline of assignment 6. Anika is okay? Fine. Well, uh, thank you everybody for your interest, patience and attendance. Uh, this was the uh, last webinar of this course. Also, the Uldu program. There is another um, job shadowing uh, course, I think, but the uh, program is, I think, finishing uh, soon. Then bye-bye. Everything is clear. Okay.